Welcome to Thursday's version of Talking Tigers. I'm Jim Derry. Well, five days later, and the luster still hasn't worn off with Leonard Fournette's ridiculous 228-yard, three-touchdown performance that has given him the early lead in the race for the Heisman Trophy. Now, as the Tigers have turned their attention to a long journey up to the Northeast for their first-ever trip to the Carrier Dome to face Syracuse, we turn to our man in the know, columnist Ron Higgins. Ron, this is sort of a scary proposition for the Tigers. A big emotional win against an SEC rival, followed by a rare trip to a non-conference foe. LSU knows little about. How do they avoid a letdown? Well, you just have to really just worry about yourself and not worry about the about Syracuse. I mean, even before the season, I mean, odds makers had this game as, as a 21-point LSU favorite, and that was before Syracuse started lost its starting quarterback in the first game. They're down to like their third or fourth quarterback. I mean, yes, Syracuse is third in the nation in rushing defense, but they haven't played anybody of any consequence. And they won't see this kind of speed much at all ever this year, even in the ACC. So what LSU has to do is, is go in and, and take care of business. Go in serious with a, a business-like attitude. You know, get this thing knocked out. I mean, I mean come out sharp, execute, you know, and, and, and probably, you know, hopefully make this game a blowout by halftime early in the third quarter so – you can start sitting some people down and, and, and not having to use them. You know, I, I'm sure LSU is not looking this as a blah situation, but it's what, it's what they how they need to approach it because they just need to go not get that knocked out, get back on the plane and get home. Well, what we do, like you said, you know, we know that they're three and zero, but you know, wins against Rhode Island, Wake Forest, and a three point win last week against Central Michigan. Um, what do you see this week? Uh, and let's talk about Leonard Fournette and how how many carries do you think they say there's no lemon on them. Uh, what do you see for him this week? Well, they can say there's no limit on him, but believe me, if they get into a situation where this game is in hand and Leonard is, you know, say, anywhere between 120 and 150 rushing, I mean, they're they're not going to run him 25 to 30 times. They don't want to do that. They said that after the first game this year against State, they didn't want to. They don't want to run him as much as they did. But then again, as Cam Cameron told me in the preseason, you know. We don't want to run Leonard that much, but if we if, if he's needed to run that much to win a game, we will do that. Now, I think that's the way they approach it. I don't think they're approaching like we got to run him, you know, 30 times a game to get him a Heisman Trophy. I think they want to run him enough to help him win games and what he can do in, in that vein. Before I let you go, give me a pick. Oh, it's LSU. I, I, LSU probably, and if they go in there serious and take this serious, I mean – they could they'll they'll put up at least 45 and maybe 50 if they take it you know they, and they, which means after halftime they have to keep executing they just can't t- take the foot off the accelerator so i'm gonna say something like 55 to 10 something like that well sounds good thanks for joining us ryan be safe going up to the northeast all right jim take care all right and today's for extra point as the tigers travel to syracuse let it be known that les miles has never lost a non-conference game in the opponent's home stadium However, that's not as impressive as it sounds. The Tigers, as a team, have only played three games in an opponent's venue over the past 10 seasons, defeating West Virginia in 2011, Washington in the 2009 season opener, and Tulane in the Superdome in 07. And the last time LSU lost a non-conference game in an opponent's home stadium? Well, that was way back in 2002 in Blacksburg, Virginia, as Nick Saban's Tigers were defeated by Virginia Tech 26-8. Well, that's all for today. We'll chat again on Monday when we wrap up the Tigers' tilt with the orange. See you then.